something big. Take and drag. Hook to Cook, he's a Central Coast surf fisherman. Hook to Cook will commence. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna see if perch are like largemouth bass and if they'll eat right before a storm. We actually have a storm coming tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty good. Had a slight rainfall last night. We got a high tide of 11 a.m. this morning and we have not very strong wave power, so it's not sweeping, so that's really good. It's gonna be a pretty high, high tide. I think it's supposed to be like six foot. And then it's gonna get windy right at high tide. So let's answer that question. Will the perch bite really good right before a storm? Because when we bass fish, we like those prefrontal conditions. The fish can sense the feeding window is narrowing, so. We'll see if we can get them. We're here today with Bob. Good morning. Daniel with the high tide. What up? Just get them. Actually, check this out. Daniel just drew this picture of a rainbow trout and it came out amazing. Did it in black and white, but check out his Instagram for all of his artwork and his tattoos. He's got our Lewis tied on. We're gonna get to the spot and start fishing. Nice little flurry. Bob just got one and then Daniel's on over there. It was worth the walk, hopefully. Probably walked a mile and a half down the beach. I don't know if it's a good one, but they're here, guys. Oh, yeah. Woo! Take Decent out, one. <laughs> These waves, when they crash, they don't slam and then go far up the beach really powerfully. So we're not as worried as getting swept today. There is a website that I'm going to leave below in the description where you, they actually measure how strong the force comes up the beach, the higher the number, like around 900, 700, anywhere in that range, will have sweeping waves. So you wanna be really careful on days like that. Today, it's about 300, which is definitely manageable. And you could wade out into the water in that tide. Leave a like on this video if you end up using that tool. I learned that from PKE. So here's what I'm looking at, guys, when I am dissecting the surf. I'm looking at pockets, and I'm also looking at where the foamy water starts, but I pay closer attention to where the waves actually break at my feet. As you can see right here, I start to notice to the right-hand side, those waves are crashing right there, and that's where I like to make my casts because I know that the fish are in close because when the waves crash right on the beach right here, right at my feet, that's when the food gets dislodged. To better illustrate it, here's a good example of it right now. Finally, still on? Oh, finally, I just switched up the colors. I've been fishing for a while now. Finally got one. First VSP of the day. Finally, I'm not going home empty handed today, guys. Oh, or maybe I will. Oh man, I've been grinding. I've been fishing two hours and nothing finally got one i've been throwing the sardine glow this whole time and uh that thing was not producing finally switched to the metallic or like the chrome chrome sardine or anchovy and uh finally got a fish yeah this is the one that i got that on it's like a blue blue and chrome like an anchovy Maybe that's what they want, and it hit close. Maybe the bite's gonna turn on now, now that it's about two hours from high tide.
perch number two on that blue anchovy. Hit really close. Nice. Decent. Much better size, guys. Good fish. Wanted it. Let's go. Yeah, it's peak high tide in about an hour. So it's making sense that the bite's turning on. So it's 10 o'clock and peak high tide is at 11, but we started fishing around seven. All the small ones were biting the grubs with the guys. So it's kind of nice to get a couple on this Kalisa. Which by the way, thank you everyone who has taken advantage of the 10% off coupon using the code hook to cook at kalisafishing.com for these lures. So, so far at this location, it seems that the big ones must be deeper. They must be feeling that storm coming in. But I have caught perch in conditions where it's actually even raining. So it was just a good record to see how the bite was today and helps you kind of put together a whole pattern Speaking of putting together patterns, we do put all of our videos in playlists according to what month they were filmed. Not when they were released, but when they were filmed. So if that'll help you guys, all the playlists are linked in the description below from January all the way to December. So if you guys wanna plan your trips and see how we're fishing, when we're fishing, hopefully that helps you guys. Check the description below for our playlists. Something big. Take and drag. I came off. What I snagged. Bent out my hooks. I knew I should have changed them. Dang. Woo, what was that? Oh, <laughs> dang it. I went against my own advice. I usually tell everyone to switch out the hooks. That's a heartbreak. I wanted to see what that was, but look at the number it did on those hooks. What was that thing? Switch out your hooks, guys switch them out. This is actually a very frequently asked question. What hooks do you switch out to? I removed the middle treble and swapped the other two with size 4, 4x strong BMC hooks. I found a really good deal of $10 for 25 of them and put a link in the description of this video. And this, ladies and gentlemen, was why I don't like using stock hooks because stuff like that happens. Would have been cool to see that fish. Whatever it was, had to borrow from another lure. Let's get back at it. There you go. Oh. Stay on, stay on. Not the biggest, but yeah. 
All right, yeah, it's it's still, ow, still about 20, 20 minutes before high tide. There we go. I missed one, the, the cast right before this. They're getting better, upgrading. It's fish number three. She's a beaut. The guys are all right there. Bob called and he's like, we're getting them on every cast, but just small ones. So wherever there's small ones, there should be some bigger ones mixed in. So I guess we just found out. So we were just at Guadalupe Hardware. There is a shortage of crappie sliders. And we sent Luis, one of the guys there, a video. Here, tell them yourself. Hey, Luis, I need crappie sliders, motor oil, paddle tail. Hit me up when they come in. I left my number at the desk, bro. Thank you. And we like left like five minutes ago and he just sent back this video. Hey, Bobby, I got, I got all your uh, motor oil sliders, paddle tail. Come on over. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we're on our way. We're gonna go pick up a bunch of crappie sliders and then kind of summarize the day when we get there. Our hero. Oh, I need them. Yeah, and he's here. <laughs> That's what Bob was saying. Okay, well, you guys are sold out again. Bro, I came in and I looked, I was like, everything's on the shelf except for those. So well, everything. well, that worked out really well. All right, and then, so if you guys need anything, Guadalupe Hardware has you. They even have blood worms. Usually, they'll have a bunch of blood worms. Not only tools, but they have a bunch of fishing gear. But yeah, you guys need some tools. Got them over here. Stocking stuffers are right down this way. Look at this. This hardware store has a bunch of fishing stuff, all because of Luis. Bob and our buddies did really, really good. They caught a bunch of no real big ones today, but they each caught like 30 fish, maybe more. So the numbers were definitely there on the Carolina rig. I committed to throwing the Kalisa today and ended up getting three and missed a really, really good one. We're going to do it again, but I think the Prefrontal conditions were really, really good today. If you guys like these surf fishing videos, drop a like. Thanks for all the support. We'll catch you later.